guys, welcome back. Sorry I haven't been on for a while, I haven't been filming myself lately. Um, but yeah, as I said in the last video, Loki has been very bad lately. Sometimes he gets it into his head that he wants a whole bunch of things, and then he gets them, and then he doesn't want them. Sometimes it's... He can be childlike, as I said before, and he can be childish. And there are two. those are two different things. Childlike is wonderful. It's like, oh, it's adorable. Childish is being a brat. And, you know, like, wanting this, 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 and this, and then not wanting it, or whatever. And he's just been a royal brat lately. That's a nice way of putting it. <laughs> I told you he almost got thrown out on his ear. He's just... When you work with him, a lot of people will say he does have that side to him. And every so often, thankfully not too often, you you will see it. And you will be rather sorry you have him with you. Uh, I love him. He knows I love him. But um, I've been having a lot of miscommunication lately. And I was meant to go to a friend's house Thursday to repair something. And I showed up. Nobody answers the door. And I'm standing there feeling like an idiot and no one's answering the door. I'm like knocking on the door and ringing the bell. Okay, so I go back like a couple times. I even leave a note. I figure, well, if she wants me, she'll call me. And I go today. And there's a note on the door for me to please ring the bell. So I ring the bell and I wait. And I can't take the heat, okay? I'm heat intolerant. And I'm getting sick, so... I ring the bell again and I go home and I'm, I'm like pretty sick for a while. And finally I was walking by this evening, I was walking to do something else. I thought if I see her I'll, I'll stop. And it turned out she was there. And what she wanted done, she just wanted a printer installed. She's like, what can I pay you? And I said, nothing. I, I don't believe in charging people for something that's like basic common knowledge if you're familiar with it. And so uh, she sent me home with some... Um, lemon cake and like a can of Diet Coke and um, a little thing of pudding. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. Because she really didn't have to pay me. She's a sweet woman. Uh, I'll stop by and they'll have like maybe sometimes like a bottle of water or like something for me, like a Coke or something. Or I'll go up occasionally and get ice cream, take it to her. So she's a sweet lady. Anyhow, we had had that big communica miscommunication. And I've been having, as I told you, a lot of unfortunate things happen. And at first I thought it was because Loki wants more Norse gods in. That's his current campaign, or at least that's what he says. He'll sometimes lie to me, I'll like, lie about what he wants because he doesn't feel like telling me because he's having a sulk. <laughs> and I've been having more misfortune than usual. And he said, well, it's just you're tired and you're running yourself ragged, which is true. I can't take the summer's heat. But then I also thought I am born under... Mercury and I've never really worked with Mercury um, It's interesting. I was looking up Mercury tonight and It came up under a um, Jewish collection of um, literature of um, how Mercury was the god that they had to contend most with and I had read these before because remember I studied like uh, Hebrew scriptures and that in college and I, you know I was raised Catholic and such and, and I still don't understand how throwing a stone literally at Mercury is idolatry but I'm like okay maybe it's like the translation's bad because we often have bad translations from the original Hebrew to you know our language and I'm like maybe it meant placing a stone or a stone meant something else back then or because when you go to Hebrew scriptures, you literally, you get the book and you're told, you've been reading it wrong your whole life because most of these words are incredibly outdated and they mean something entirely different than you think they mean. And we would have our study Bibles and we would sit there and it was like trying to like decode the Bible while well, decode the Talmud. And yes, they let us study it in college because it was a liberal arts college. And I'm saying that because traditionally women were not allowed to study the Talmud or even look at it and our fact our teacher even took us to meet a lady rabbi which turned quite a few heads because she was dressed in this very sexy provocative red dress I still remember to this day and she sat her butt up on where you know you put the Talmud and everything and she was 
quite pleased with herself. I've never seen a rabbi act like that before or since, but hey, I don't know too many rabbis. May they all do it. I wouldn't know. Um, but it's not like I thought Mercury was coming through or anything, but I do believe that you kind of get, how can I put this? You kind of get an inheritance from the gods you're born under, I think. And by virtue of being Gemini and being born in the month of May, uh, I have uh, some inheritance, at least, from uh, Mercury. Some people say that he was the one that named May, May after his mother. And, you know, he's invented the lyre and all these other associations he has. I think that sometimes when um, everything is going bad, like I'm having miscommunication with Loki or... Um, just a series of unfortunate events. I just wrote a book series. Um, it can be not necessarily Loki doing it, but I think sometimes that energy inheritance I got from Mercury kind of rebels because we've tried to work with each other and we're just meh about each other. <laughs> I don't hate him and he doesn't hate me. And he looks curious if I contact him and we kind of look at each other and then it's like we're both like, Okay, you're here, I'm here, now what? It, it, we're not thrilled with each other. And you would think with me getting along with Loki and Coyote and, uh, you know, Ishu and Legba, we would get on famously, but we're just like, eh, towards each other. Um, I think it's partially because of, like, how so much of the Hebrew scriptures was bad Mercury, bad, bad, bad. And it was just, oh, uh, when we study Greek, in Roman mythology, Mercury was considered a very minor, unimportant god, where actually he was like one of the biggest and most important gods. But the way our teachers taught it, um, all Mercury is is the FTD Aaron boy, and he carries flowers from place to place. <laughs> so yeah, if you're wondering why they have him as their mascot, he was the divine messenger. And... You know who but the fleet footed mercury could get your flowers there that fast though i suppose he would laugh hysterically it, it, he was also a god of merchants which is even better um some would say you could pray to him to uh bless your business and some could say you could pray to him to help you lie to your customers and he would laugh because he he liked trickery too and you could go ahead and lie and if you had mercury's blessing uh, you'd get away with it. Customer would never find out. So if you were like a used car salesman back in the day, okay, they didn't have cars, but you know what I mean, and you were very dishonest and sold uh, clunkers, you could keep praying to Mercury and as long as you had his favor. He would help you. Now, remember, Greek and Roman gods are infamous for being fickle. They can take away their blessings without warning. So don't decide that you're going to start praying to Mercury and lighting him incense and uh, think he's going to let you get away with foolery. We don't know how much we were passed down was passed down by people that loved or hated these gods. That's the problem you always have to think of. Um, the impression I get when I meet him, um, he's curious, he's intelligent, he's very quick-witted, but... Um, we just kind of stand there and look at each other and we're really uncomfortable with each other and we've never gotten to that point of, I want to work with you, you want to work with me. It's just, I think by having Loki, having a god that shares so many of his virtues, you're probably sitting there going, well, I can't see him. Um, Mercury can't be bothered. Uh, he shows up every once in a while. And he checks in on me, so to speak. But um, I've just never worked with him. I, it's not like out of lack of love or anything. But boy, I'm smelling roses right now. Like seriously, roses. I'm going to discount it as Scentsy Bars. But I am really smelling roses. I think it's the Scentsy Bars back there, though. It's not a miracle. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just figured I would talk to you about that, too. I've just... Uh, even like threw up a quick prayer to Mercury and I said, you know, um, if you're the one behind this, if you're trying for attention, you've got my attention, but I need some help working with Loki because uh, we're going crazy. We haven't fought for the longest time and then last night we were fighting like cats and dogs and I was like, that is it, out, out, out. And Loki just gets like a sulky tomcat and he's going to stay where he is. He's going to growl at you. 
<laughs> so yeah, I did ask Mercury if he could please smooth things over, because there's no sense trying to deal with Loki when he's in a mood. Um, it's impossible, and I thought if anyone could speak to him and get him to maybe calm down a fraction. I know some people go to Segan or something. I'm like, okay, I'll get Mercury. Um, they have a lot in common in a way. Uh, I couldn't find a ton of stuff about people that work with Mercury, just like studies. Um, I think being known for a god that uh, likes to do his uh, trickery and um, mischievousness a lot like our Loki, I think he scares some people because um, they're never sure what he'll do, but I, I don't get the sense that he's malicious. Uh, with the Greek and Roman gods, usually it depended entirely on how you treated them. Sometimes they could turn their back on you, but um, usually they weren't. It, you call them fickle, but it was like once in a great while. It wasn't like uh, you would work with them and they would continuously bless you and then all of a sudden hate you or something. And sometimes we have to remember there are just some things that our gods can't catch and they do get through. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. But I figured I'd catch you up. I'm starting to feel a little better. But um, yeah, I just, I don't know why I had to mention the Mercury thing, but it's usually timely for most of you. So um, I hope that helps somebody. Okay, so I will see you guys later. Blessed be.